Hey everyone, it's Audrey from Country Stampers, and today I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my studio, where, how I set up to do my videos for my tutorials. Um, it's just a white desk that I picked up over at Michael's a couple of years ago. Um, so I use that to do my videos as well as when I'm creating. Um, I just have a basic little setup, a little homemade setup that my husband had worked out for me. Um, right now I'm using my iPhone to videotape this so I can show you the different cameras that I have used um, for my videos before I finally upgrade it a little bit. So here is my little setup. It's this metal bar that I'm trying to see if I can get a better image that my husband made for me. Um, we picked up this at Home Depot for like six or seven bucks. He used it, <coughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> he used it for a project to fix um, something around the house and we had quite a bit of it left over and he thought it would work perfect for my little studio. Right now it's being held up by this clamp um, from Home Depot as well. Um, just so I can find my placement where I want it positioned on this cabinet right here. Um, as you can tell, I'm just getting over another chest cold. So, I use my window lighting. Um, my, you know, um, it's right by my desk. So, I usually let a little bit of that in when I'm videoing. I also have the auto lights or uh, the OTT lights, um, I picked up, oh, I think it was last year on Black Friday for like 20 bucks at Joann's. Um, <laughs> I bought like three of them. I just love those lights. Um, so you can see my cameras there. Over here I have another one of the lights. Um, I got this one over at Michael's. And I want to say that one was on clearance too. So I'm not sure, but it works perfect for my studio. So, I have been using a point-and-shoot camera um, from Canon to do some of my videos. Didn't really care for the audio quality on those. So then I had switched to, uh, I think it was a webcam. And that was doing great up until about two weeks ago. My daughter had come in to film a video for her YouTube channel and she was 12 years old and she hit it just right and it fell to my table and kind of after that wasn't working properly I was sounding like I was in a fish tank so my husband and I decided that it was time for me to upgrade so we had looked around and we found this camcorder I did try to use one of my older camcorders um, which is another smaller one like this but um the way it saves, it doesn't save in a format that I could use in my editing software. So, <clears throat> I no longer had the software on my computer. So, we found a really good deal at Walmart. Um, we picked this up for like $139. Um, so, but right now it's still retailing at most of the Walmarts for, I think it's like $199. Still not a bad price for it. You can also find it on Amazon.com. So, um, it comes with the kit that he bought me came with a 16 megabyte or gigabyte SD card. So, you say you can save right to the SD card and upload from your SD card. Or you can hook it up and save right from the, um, you know, download right from the camcorder itself. It's really basic. It just flips open like that and it'll automatically turn on once you open your screen and it's going to tell me that I don't have my SD card in there so once I put my SD card in it will switch over so but back up to this bar here my husband drilled these three holes in so I'm able to set the camcorder or if I do have to use one of the other cameras um, so I can set it to where it best fits and I can get the best quality for filming and, you know, zoom in and zoom out and everything. So 
it works out really good. So tonight he will be putting the bolts in for me to secure it better. So while I'm videotaping. So, and I have also um, used my Canon. Um, my, I think it's the T3 um, for some of my videos as well. And again, if you're not looking right at this camera um, and it doesn't pick up really good audio on this, so I would need an external speak uh, microphone for this. Which I did actually order one. It's uh, due to come in soon. So I will post the link to the one that I bought once I try it out and I see how it works. So, but I do use this one when I am photographing my projects for you. So, and um, I will show you more on that later. My little uh, photo studio where I actually... Um, photo shoot all my photos because I even made my own little photo studio to go with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm really quick going to switch over to the camcorder for you so you can see the quality of this camera and that will be about it. If you do have any questions please feel free to contact me. My email will be down below. So okay I will be right back with the other camera. Okay, so here we go. Here is the other camera, and now I'm videotaping from it so you can see. And now when it is up in its um, bracket, this is the view that you would be seeing. So let me just put that right there. This is the view that you would be seeing as I'm working with my project. So, um, and it's got the lighting coming down onto my desk. And now it's a downward motion so that's the way you can see everything that I'm doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions please feel free to send me an email. Leave me a comment below and I will answer you as best as I can. Alright. Thank you everybody. Bye.